Hi guys and welcome to GSTOOP TV where we thrill you with amazing video all day long. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to this channel. Hi guys and welcome back. It's another day, another BB Niger Lockdown Edition 2021 Reunion Review. Oh god, that was such a mouthful. Anyways, today's episode edition live streaming show whatever you want to term it thank goodness we have moved from ships and booze and whatever triangle these guys were into while they were in the house today they spoke about friendship right that was basically what it was about now katrina started off by talking about the people that she unfollowed in the house and you know while she, when she came out of the house she unfollowed a lot of people she said she felt like she didn't bond with so many people before she was she was evicted and some of them saw her in a light that she was not because well she didn't have enough time to show herself and people already formed a perception of her especially the housemates and you no know, most of them were inside for a long time and so they carried that perception of her of that they have of her all through the period they were in the house and now that they're even in the house some of them still feel that way about her but everywhere everyone actually looked very beautiful today in their outfits see bad now says she feels katrina followed everybody because they attended nengi's party and v said katrina followed her way before the party and katrina said indeed she followed everybody before the party press now said Katrina wants her friends to inherit her enemy. Then she now said she unfollowed Lekon because she felt he didn't care about her and that they had a relationship where she called him son and he called her mom and all of those things. But that she wanted to continue the relationship outside of the house, but people stopped, kept telling her to stop. She reached out to Lekon to let his fans know it was cool, but Lekon didn't do anything about it to tell his fans that they were cool. So she unfollowed him. Now, Lekon now said, IG comments were not his priority when he left the house. He gets thousands of comments and it's a lot of work searching for a particular one to respond to. He said, sorry, oh, that she felt that way. And Katrina said, sorry. Now, we now got to Lucy and Katrina's friendship. Katrina actually cried. Now, I feel like, just let me say this, you should not expect your friends to inherit your enemy like Praise said. We are beefing, irrespective. Everybody has their own opinion anybody's action or reaction to whatever you're doing or whatever you're saying or whatever commitment you expect of them is usually a reflection of who they are not necessarily of who you are so for you to now start beefing that person for being who they are is just unnecessary now she said they were friends in the house according to katrina there was commitment there was loyalty she was loyal to katrina to lucy when lucy got evicted and erica was disqualified she flew from port accord to lagos to stay with lucy she was in the hotel with her a media round she was there putting words in her mouth and not to say this and not say that and she even went as far as becoming enemies should i say enemies now to nengi because katrina and nengi were not in on speaking terms and also with v so everybody that lucy had problem with katrina had a problem with them automatically because that's the kind of friend that she is and lucy was like um i was in your house every day we are not married though so what is this commitment you're asking we chat we talk whatsapp every day we speak continuously and that they were very cool until when katrina unfollowed you know that time when she unfollowed and she had q and e and then she was like lucy was not loyal she was like and then she messaged katrina to say okay babe what is happening why did you unfollow me and katrina just said you were not loyal to me and me lucy being lucy she was like you have so many issues with almost all of the housemates it's difficult to keep track katrina issues is that lucy thought is that she thought actually that lucy had issues with nengi after they left the house and that lucy be, you know there was a time that lucy said then giving gifted that i think a million naira or hundreds of thousands of naira and she said when lucy settled that cause whatever she had with Neng, she should have informed her i mean what kind of discussion is that ah katrina remember my enemy you inherited i've <laughs> stopped fighting that person so now you have to love the person how do you switch from hate to love or from dislike to love like that maybe me but if 
I'm not feeling you. I can't just turn off a switch and suddenly start liking you because a friend is liking you. Like, you guys enjoy your friendship. I'm not going to be in the midst of it. And Lucy was like, remember that there are different types of friendship. Not everybody you call friend is the person you're very close and into or share intimate details with. Some people are just your high, high persons more like acquaintances but you refer to yourself as friends because well you can't refer to such a person as acquaintance because you've had more together and lucy insists that katrina should have spoken to her and that she reached out to katrina and katrina said she does not do frenemies and all of those things anyways that one katrina's accent was accent on more that thing bust my head bust everything in my head <laughs> how she managed to maintain it and how everybody kept their cool while she kept speaking like that i can't i can't relate to it anyways kaisha and lucy fought but they did not show us they pulled a coyote on us why did they cut it they just showed us the backstage when lucy had her wig off after she smacked kaisha if you see the way she stood she stood like a mother determined to spank a child you know when african mothers throw slippers at their disobeying child a rude child that was how lucy stood up for kaisha because kaisha actually was very emotional when she was explaining what happened between herself katrina and lucy apparently there was a beach party a yacht party and kaisha's mom invited herself and the other girls welcomed her kaisha's mom now wanted a picture with katrina and katrina now asked kaisha's mom to come meet her where she was kaisha was like that was really rude but i forgive you i don't want to really discuss it but katrina was insistent that she didn't know it was her mom and the person that came to tell her didn't tell her whatever whatever and that she heard manager and no mom and lucy said that is what she told her but then kaisha now said katrina is lying because she knows her sister because it was kaisha's sister who went to meet katrina to tell her that their mother wants a picture with her then there's a story that so when that happened kaisha now in that judge party that party they were in kaisha now went to poke katrina's forehead she went to confront her. She, according to katrina she put her face right in her face you know that kind of nose to nose chest to chest confrontation and even pushed her forehead for being rude to her mom and kaisha was like and i will repeat it if you keep talking about my mom take my mom's name out of your mouth you're not worthy to talk about her then she wanted to end all of the things but then katrina was insisting i wanted to just clear her name and then lucy wanted to you know say a part of the story and kaisha stood up to lucy's like don't talk about my mom i don't want you talking about my mom and out of the hunger or emotion or whatever because she does not joke with family like she says she threw a pillow at lucy lucy just stood up like ha kaya whoever the cameraman for this reunion is you did not do well because why would you just show us backstage of lucy saying she's going to beat katrina or uh, kaisha now well but I feel like Lucy's friendship with Katrina has actually ended because Lucy was ob- obviously very much frustrated with Katrina. Like, how would you not discuss something like that? You, you, if, like Ebuka said, you're angry with me, even as a married couple. If you're mar- if you're angry and you do not tell me you're hungry, you can't blame me or keep hating me for not knowing you're angry. Like, mad or. <laughs> Anyways. Lucy tried to wanted to let well, all of the the sharp eat themselves and then they worked out. Now Tochi and Katrina entered the conversation. The, the day was just about Katrina on following everybody. I feel like everybody wanted to end Katrina's issue there. And you know there was this Q and A that Tochi had and they asked about Katrina. That was after she unfollowed everybody that went to Nengi's party. And Tochi was like, I don't know who Katrina is. Now, Tochi was like, Katrina is a very troublesome person. She was trouble to everybody in the house. And Katrina was like, well, you guys just have a perception of me and you refuse to. Tochi was like, see, you have placed yourself on a high horse. Come down. In fact, the horse you even put yourself on is very low. So just jump, you know, just come down from that low high horse that you have put yourself, you your more lady your boss lady take your boss back to korodu and don't come and try to be bossy of us because he said he does not like someone who is bossy someone who tries to 
so she was really angry she said katrina he said katrina unfollows people he goes on twitter to just she goes on twitter to justify it and that was why he said he did not know her because he was just angry like how are you like this how is a human being like this how will you carry yourself like this in the house you got evicted because of this two weeks into the game and then outside of the house you're still acting like this you know it was really pained katrina said she was not angry then so she was like why did you respond to it saying you fed me in the house your food that was not sweet well the old gist katrina and tochi shah fought 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 but then they didn't get to end it um ibika asked kid wire and then they ended the whole thing there but then they showed all the snippets for tomorrow now there's going to be a fight a fight tomorrow lilo is involved i don't know what that is but then of course i'll be here to bring the review and give you the summary of everything that happened in the reunion show ebuka is trying just give it up for that man mad though i can't do the things because he really wanted to i feel i understand i like what he's doing though he really wants each person on that set to have a voice and hear that opinion because when katrina was going on and on and on on why she unfollowed lucy and why she unfriended lucy you really wanted to get to the root of because she she didn't make any sense and that was very should i use the word image word of katrina to want people to inherit her enemy and expect loyalty mean come on come on she's first human she's in her 30s she she has first developed so many things about herself that you can't come and impose what you think the fact that she has access to you does not mean she becomes automatically your watchdog or your dog or whatever the english you might want to use for and such that she can't even communicate because ebuka has to ask her the second time with tochi because she said she unfollowed tochi she was angry and whatever like why would you not tell somebody you like if you cannot tell that i'm angry with i mean that's just the shittiest kind of habit to have if someone cannot if someone cannot tell you're angry with a person that is you will be angry and die you will be angered till death because why i'm taking this to personal guys but i'm just grateful that we've stopped the conversation around boyfriend girlfriend and you know relationship age and they're talking about friendship and maybe we'll see some other things concerning what has happened in the house and i'll say it 